Welcome to the SBCC Dual Enrollment Video Guide Number 3. We will be covering accessing, navigating SBCC Student Pipeline account and finding your student K number. Here's an overview of what we will cover. We'll review the CC Apply confirmation page. We'll obtain your CCID number. Both of these steps are covered in video guide number two. We'll continue to set up your Pipeline student account, navigate your Pipeline screens, and find your K number, which is required to submit your parent consent form. From video guide number two, you'll recall submitting your application for admission. This is the confirmation page you should have saved for your records. Please note your CCID, starting with two letters and four numeric numbers. Use these last four numbers of your CCID to set up your SBCC Pipeline account. You may need to log back into your CC Apply account to access your CCID. If so, go ahead and log in using the page we previously used in video guide number two. Once logged in on your dashboard, on the top left, you will see a drop down menu. Your CCID can be found on this page. Your CCCID is a unique student identifier generated when a student creates an open CCC account. Please note the example on the left. BVB2106, the last four digits of this student's approved ID are 2106. This is the number you would use to set up your account. Now let's access your Pipeline student account. Visit us at sbcc.edu and select the Pipeline icon on the left menu bar. You'll be redirected to the SBCC Pipeline login page. If you're a first time user, under the login, select Find Account. Follow the prompts and security questions to set up your account. Please note it's important to write down and remember your username and password. You will need this for any future SBCC courses. Error message, no records found. When trying to reset or look up your account, let's troubleshoot. Make sure your personal information matches exactly with your CC Apply application. Confirm that you have an application on file. New applications can take a couple business days to be received by the admissions office. If you are still getting a no records found message, submit a status check request on our website and include your application confirmation number. Welcome to your Pipeline Dashboard. Your student records can be found here under the Student tab. Also found here are Campus Announcements, the Academic Calendar, access to your SBCC email, and Canvas, the course platform. To find your SBCC ID number, select the Student tab on the top left and under Registration and Student Records, select My SBCC ID. Your SBCC ID number will be a K followed by numeric digits. Your K number is required to submit your parent consent form. If you're ready to submit your parent consent form, visit the High School Based Courses page. The direct link can be accessed here. In our next video guide, we'll cover the parent consent form, how to submit it, and how to confirm if it's cleared on your account.